This is the Queen's Veterinary School Hospital in Cambridge, where every day they use shadows to help diagnose and treat sick animals. This is Mia. She's a six-year-old Munsterlander, and she came into the hospital a, a few weeks ago with a cough. She's back in today just to make sure that her lungs are still healthy. We have to use x-rays to make an image just to give us an idea of what's going on inside her body. Come on, then. Mia is sedated and positioned carefully on the x-ray machine. Although we can't see x-rays, they are, in fact, a type of light. But unlike visible light, x-rays can travel through Mia. Nice and level. The x-rays will come out of the x-ray tube and they'll pass through Mia's chest. Some of them will be absorbed by her body and some of them will pass straight through and they will cast a shadow on the x-ray plate, which goes in as closely as possible underneath Mia's body. We have to make sure she's as close as possible to the plate so that the x-ray image is as, as close to, to true size as possible and that makes it easier for the doctors to be able to take measurements. Once the x-ray has been taken, the plate is developed and printed out. This is the x-ray that we've just taken of Mia. This is her chest. And the image is actually a reverse shadow. You can see that these areas that have come out a little bit whiter are bone. And they've come out whiter. They've created a stronger shadow on the x-ray plate because the fewer of the x-rays have got through to the plate. They've more have been absorbed in the bone. The slightly less white areas are soft tissue. So here we've got the heart. Fewer of the x-rays have been stopped or uh, absorbed in the heart. And in the lungs, there is much more air, so a lot more of the x-rays have passed through onto the x-ray plate. And we've got darker areas. So this x-ray would, would now be passed over to, to the vet, and the vet would be able to study it and, and see whether um, Mir has actually fully recovered. X-rays are a really important diagnostic tool. We use them for human patients and animal patients, and they help us to work out what's wrong with the patient so that we can hopefully make them better.